and Smita, your healer therapist and life transformation specialist. Today we'll be talking about our heart chakra, the center for love, compassion, empathy, forgiveness and healing. So let's take a deeper dive into it and I will see you soon in another video about the throat chakra. Thank you for watching. Bye. Hi there. Today we'll talk about the chakra that is related to compassion, unconditional love, empathy, balance and forgiveness, which is a heart chakra. The Sanskrit name for heart chakra is anhata, meaning unstruck or sound made without two things striking. The element associated with this chakra is air. The element of this chakra is air, which is the least dense of the physical elements with respect to the other lower chakras. As an element, air is associated with knowledge, openness, freedom, expansiveness, freshness, and things that are spirited. The color associated with this chakra is green. The symbol of this chakra is shown here and the chakra relates to what I love. On the physical body, this chakra is located near your heart in the center of your chest. The heart chakra rules over the heart, lungs and thymus gland. The endocrine gland associated with this chakra is the thymus gland. And the body parts associated with this chakra include the heart, lungs, the pericardium, hands and the circulatory system. So let's take a look at the functions of this chakra. The heart refers to the center of the things or the essence of things. The heart chakra represents our core which integrates the understanding of the upper and the lower chakras. The function of the heart chakra is to balance the various aspects of our being and when we are balanced or the various aspects of our being is balanced it creates a sense of wholeness and a joyful acceptance leading to inner peace the auric layer associated with this chakra um, is called the astral body the astral body is the integration layer between the higher spiritual bodies and the lower physical bodies which include the etheric, emotional and the mental layers. The astral body is amorphous and is composed of clouds of similar but more vibrant colors than the emotional body and is infused with the rose light of love. The heart chakra of a loving person is full of rose light at the astral level. It extends about one half to one foot from the body. When people fall in love, beautiful arcs of rose light can be seen between their hearts. When people form relationships, they grow cords out of the chakras that connect them. The longer and deeper the relationship, the stronger are the cords. These cords exist on many levels of the auric field in addition to the astral. When relationships end, these cords are broken, causing a great deal of pain. So let's take a look at the psychological function of the heart chakra. The heart chakra or anhata is the center of compassion, love, empathy, forgiveness and balance. The heart chakra is the integration point between the higher spiritual centers and the lower physical centers. Since heart chakra is the integrator and the unifier, it is also the center for healing. There are channels of energy that moves from the heart to the hands by which healing energy reaches out to others. So let's discuss some aspects of the, of the heart chakra. Love. Love is difficult to define yet everyone has experienced love. Love is something we all seek, want and need. Love is a unifying force. It is the connection we feel with another person or group of individuals. Love creates a sense of oneness with another person. And this is different from the sexual love that we feel at the sec second chakra level. Love is transcending the ego, the separateness and self-defined boundaries. We gravitate towards people who accept 
and who makes us feel safe and appreciated. Love and approval are basic to our personal growth as they promote self-acceptance as a necessary step in loving oneself. Learning to love takes energy on various levels. We must be able to feel, communicate, must be able to have our autonomy and power. We need to be able to see and understand and most importantly we need to relax and let it happen. Heart chakra is yin or feminine and sometimes the most profound love is that which can simply let things be the way they are. Love is a deep sense of spiritual connection and making the mundane tree sacred so that it is cared for and protected. The next aspect that we would like to discuss is the relationship and the balance. The fourth chakra perceives the world as a web of relationships bound together by the force of love. Once we perceive objects and their activities as relationships, we begin to perceive the perfection, balance and eternal nature of these relationships. For example, planets in orbit moving in balance with the pull of the sun repeating these patterns eternally. Relationships thrive when there is balance. They end when there is imbalance in spiritual evolution, giving and taking, communication, money, sex, power, housework, child care or any other aspect that is important in the relationship. Balance within ourselves helps us to maintain that balance in our relationship with others. The relationship with the greatest equilibrium and therefore the most grace will be naturally the most enduring relationship. In order to be in love, we have to balance individual individuality and love and actually sacrifice a portion of each. Anything that is not balanced not in balance will not endure. Only by being in balance within ourselves can we hope to balance the world. The next aspect with respect to the heart chakra that I would like to discuss here is the healing. To heal is to make whole. Since heart chakra is the integrator and the unifier, it is also the center of healing. Love is the ultimate healing force. Healing energy can be passed to others through the hands. There are minor chakras in the hands as well as energy channels that flow from the heart to the hands. Hands are very sensitive extensions of our body and mind and having more natural receptors than any other part of the body. The hands are sense organs that receive information like our eyes and are valuable tools in the perception and control of psychic energy. Healing is the restoration of balance to an organism or situation. Opening in the heart chakra and developing compassion, connection and understanding for those around you naturally gives rise to the urge to heal. To properly heal someone, it is necessary that a person comes into balance with their own energy. A true healer must tune into her subject, remain grounded in her own energy and allow the subject to create her own sense of balance. When our heart chakras are open and balanced, our very presence radiates love and joy. So let's take a look at how the balance in this chakra looks like. When the heart chakra is balanced, there is a feeling of love and compassion towards all beings irrespective of any differences like caste, color, gender, religion, etc. There is a feeling of oneness and understanding that we are all interdependent. Upon opening the heart chakra expands one's horizons for sharing loving energy. Here is a list of signs and attributes of a balanced heart chakra compassionate, understanding, love of self and others, empathetic, self-acceptance, inner peace, increased capacity for forgiveness, generous, harmonious relationship, desire to heal others and ease in manifestation. So let's look at how imbalance in this chakra looks like. 
Imbalance can be caused either because the chakra is excessively open or closed. Undue attachments to one person can reduce the flow of energy that can come from many others. Jealousy, homophobia, ageism, racism or paying any attention to the differences between human beings restricts the flow of love. This also the fear of rejection and any sort of rejection may cause one to be destructive to self in the form of isolation, addiction and a feeling of separateness. As heart chakra is a gatekeeper of the energies from the upper and the lower chakras, restricting the flow of energy to the heart causes alienation between our minds and bodies. Imbalances in the heart chakra can throw the entire system off balance. When the heart chakra is underactive, you may feel shy, fear, there is a fear of getting hurt, there is a fear of rejection, feelings of loneliness or, and being unloved, suspicion, bitterness, lack of empathy, unable to forgive others or self, possessiveness, uh, social anxiety, judgmental, self-criticism, self-doubt, fear of relationship. When the heart chakra is overactive, you may feel overly empathetic, overly concerned. There is jealousy, poor boundaries, codependency, clingingness, tendency to stay in abusive relationships and overly sacrificing. Let's take a look at how the malfunction of the heart chakra manifests in our physical body. The heart chakra directly affects the heart, lungs, chest, arms and hands. When heart chakra is out of alignment, poor circulation, high or low blood pressure, asthma and other heart and lung diseases can result. Issues that can occur in the body can also include infections of the lungs, bronchitis and circulatory problems. So what can be done to balance the, this chakra? The heart chakra requires a practice of balance between mind and body, inner and outer realms, self and others, giving and receiving. Opening the heart chakra also requires an understanding and control of breath for it is the tool of physical and mental transformation. Breath is one of the most powerful tools for transforming ourselves by burning up the toxins, releasing stored emotions, changing body structure and changing consciousness. Breath acts as a bridge between the body and the mind. Whole systems of yoga are developed on breathing techniques called pranayama which are designed to expand the consciousness and purify the body. When thoughts are calm, the breath is calm. Conversely, the mind can be calmed through control of the breath. Some breathing exercises that can help to open up the heart chakra include deep breathing, a breath of fire also known as the Kapalbhati, pranayama and alternate nostril breathing. So we could also eat some food uh, or that are vegetables that are green in color to open this chakra up. Some gemstones that um, we can meditate with in order to open this chakra include malachite, emerald, jade and rose quartz. The seed mantra associated with this chakra is yam. Yam is believed to contain the essence of this chakra and chanting yam or meditating on the seed mantra can help open this chakra. There are certain exercises that can be done to stimulate the heart chakra and they include the cobra pose in yoga, the fish pose as well as doing arm circles. Uh, with respect to sound healing, 639 Hz is the frequency that can be used for attracting love and bring harmony and balance to our relationships and this can be used for balancing the heart chakra. So let's take a look at the affirmations for this chakra. Affirmations are statements that you would say aloud repetitively so as to reprogram your subconscious mind. Here are some heart chakra affirmations. I am worthy of unconditional love. I am loving to myself and to others. There is an infinite supply of love. I live in balance with others. I forgive myself and others. 
Love is my guiding truth in life and I give and receive love effortlessly and unconditionally. I live in balance in a state of grace and gratitude. I accept things as they are. I choose to see the similarities in others instead of the differences. I choose compassion over judgment. I am loved, loving and lovable. I am patient, peaceful and calm. I radiate pure love, light and positivity. I choose to be kind to myself and love myself unconditionally. I fully love and embrace who I am. My heart is open loving and pure i give and receive love effortlessly and unconditionally i am worthy of praise adoration and unconditional love i am vibrating positive loving energy and i attract the same energy in return i am able to live in love i lead with love i am kind generous and compassionate I embrace silence and know deep inner peace. I love and accept myself for exactly the person I am right now. I show compassion for myself always. I am deeply compassionate and allow myself the grace of imperfection. I choose to love myself and deeply as I love others. I lovingly nurture my mind, body and spirit. I am at peace with all that has ap- happened is happening and will happen. Every cell in my body is vibrating at the frequency of love. When I am unsure where to go next, I follow the path that feels most like love. I inhale love for myself. I exhale self-criticism and self-doubt. the essential oils that can be used um to open up this heart chakra is lavender jasmine yarrow marjoram and meadow sweet so i hope you have a fairly good idea on the functions of the heart chakra as well as how to heal blocks associated with it if if you really like this video give a thumbs up and i will see you in another video soon on the throat chakra until then bye and i'll see you soon thank you